Yesterday was Wednesday, today is Thursday, eh? Well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna read a story. Can you tell me then, what's this part of that book called? Ah, oh, deadly. What's this part? Too clever, huh? The spine. Just something that we do here with the kids, getting them to know the parts of the books. When they go home to their parents, they tell their parents what they know about the books. And the parents will come back and comment and say, oh, so and so, you know, they know all the parts of the books and they tell us the names of the books, the titles and all that. My father knows a place we can only reach by boat. Hey, we got some special place in Yari too, eh? Where we can only go by boat, eh? We can't drive a car there, or we can't go on a bike there. We only gotta go by boat, eh? Sometimes just sitting down and reading a story, the kids do get lost and don't really understand it. Um, being a part of it makes them enjoy it a little bit more, and it helps them relate to the story if they're a part of it. Wombat stew. And who are all the animals in our story? Wombat stew. We got a wombat. Wombat. There's our wombat. Lita, do you want to put some bugs in our stew? Can you find some bugs? Can you find some bugs and put it in our wombat stew? And what happens in our story? Does anyone remember what, does anyone remember what happens in the story? Koala? Yeah. Look that boat. Anybody got a boat in Yaraba? Your papa got a boat, Leah? Yeah, he got a speeding boat. He got a speeding boat. I love reading stories to them and just, just interpreting the standard Australian English part back to Yari lingo so that the kids will understand. When we arrive, all the cockatoos rise from the forest in a squawking cloud. How do they make? What noise them cockatoo make? What them birds? You see them birds here in Yarraba? What their name? That's a parrot. Yeah, that's a parrot, eh? That's a parrot bird. Look that tree. We got a tree like that here? Yeah. What that tree called? Coconut tree. Coconut tree. We eat the fruit on there? Yeah. Hey, eh? you like eating coconut? Yeah. Oh, me too. I like to connect the story back to their own background about Yarraba. And they will tell you a lot of wonderful things. They say they like cooking that fish that way. Look, Austin, look. You too? You too, you cook a fish that way? Hey, you know when we go in a mud out here, what them thing we find in a mud? You know them thing we eat? We eat. Oh, that's it, eh? We eh? We eat. We eat wirralay and we cook a wirral like that, eh, on a fire, eh? And a for crab. Ego, ego? And for crab. And crab, yeah. We are saltwater people and yeah, we love seafood and boats. There are a lot of, lot of boats here. It's just a lovely story that connects to our community where we live. But then I feel sad. That little boy say he feels sad now because the day has gone so quickly and they can't stay there, they can't sleep there because that's a special place there. So they gotta pack up now, they gotta pack their load up and they gotta go back in the boat. Mercedes, look, they gotta go back in the boat and they gotta go back home. Oh, isn't that a beautiful story?